Season of the Splicer. Illuminous Cloak, Majestic. And all the houses respected their decisions, Ido asked, dubious. Yes, Varrix replied. It was so agreed by all of Rhys. The old scribe traced his fingers along the data pad, deciphering notes that hadn't been accessed in decades. But didn't all the other houses fight amongst each other, disputing their decisions? Ido leaned forward, fascinated by the idea of one house accruing so much political sway without resorting to violence. To dispute the House of Judgment was to dispute all Elixni houses, Varrix explained. It was the voice of the Elixni, united. Ido puzzled over this. The idea of mediation was not new to her. Mizrax often solved problems between House members without violence, but the idea of organising a whole society using that method was novel. So it was the ruling house, Ido concluded. Varrix clicked his mandibles in annoyance. No, the House of Judgment was both above and below all other houses. It was both Kel and Dreg. Its authority came from humility. Ido had only ever known of scribes as political animals, power brokers and go-betweeners, like Varrix, but the idea of scribes as neutral parties, dedicated to peace and knowledge, was enticing. This is why the old scribes pursued knowledge relentlessly. They sought it from uncommon sources, Varrix continued. Their knowledge was overwhelming and unyielding. So, when a scribe of house judgment decided, all Elixni respected it. They knew that nothing was left unconsidered. Ido nodded raptly. For the first time, she imagined peace, not just as an aspiration, but as a practice and a vocation. The idea blossomed within her.